Hello students, very good morning. Welcome to Narayana Live Classes. Today, for class 7 students, we are going to discuss assignment number 45 on number system. Now, let us say the first question. The value of 0.67 bar in m by n form means you have to convert 0.67 into a rational number form. Rational number form is m by n form. Okay? Now, how to do that? Let us take the given decimal as x. Okay? That is 0 0.67 bar. Nothing but 0 0.6767. Here the period is 6, 7 and periodicity is 2. As its periodicity is 2, what to do? You just multiply both the sides with 100. 100 x is what? 67.6767 so on. Okay? Now, let us subtract x from this. What do you have now? 0 0.6767 so on. We have to take such a care that after decimal, we have a C, 6767 repeatedly, here also 6767 repeatedly, then what happens? This entire part will become cancelled, that will be cancelled. So we have here as, this is all cancelling, so 0, 0 we can say because we are subtracting, so these are the same digits, so we can say that they, are, they, are, they all will be vanished, I mean say they become 0, after decimal 0 means it is, uh, it has no value. Now it is 7 and 6. That is, of course, 100 minus x is nothing but 99x. 99x is 67. Therefore, what is the x value for us? 67 by 99. 67 by 99 is the value of x. What is x here? 0.67 bar. So, 0.67 bar is equivalent to 67 by 99. This is in the form of m by n. So, for us, what is the right answer? 67 by 99 is nothing but fourth option. Okay, now we will take the second question. The value of 0 0.2562 bar, here if you look at this, let us take x as 0 0.2562 bar. It is a mix of recurring. Here 25, after decimal, it is not pure recurring decimal. So what do you have now? This is 0 0.25562. 62. So 62 is the period for this and its periodicity is 2. In that case, first we have to multiply both the sides with 10,000. Why 10,000? Here we have two digits which are not repeated and there are two digits which are repeating, which are recurring. So 2 plus 2, that is 4. 4 digits overall we have to send to the left of decimal. So that we have to multiply with 10,000. What do you have now? 2562. 6262 so on. Next, here we have two digits after decimal which are non recurring. So, these two digits, if you bring to left of decimal, then we can subtract with one another. This 6262 recurring part can be cancelled. So, what to do now? We have to multiply here again with 100. 100x. What is 100x for us? 25.6262. This is very, very important step. We have to see that after decimal, we have only recurring decimals, recurring digits. Then what happens if you subtract one from the other, these two will be cancelled. This is very very important step. Let us subtract now. Here of course after decimal all will become zero, which are of no use, they have no value. This is 12 minus 5, that is 7. This is 5 minus 2, that is 3. This is of course 5, 2, that is equal to here it is how much? 9900, 9900. 9900x is equal to 2537. Then what is x now? 2537 by 9900. 9900 is in the denominator position. 2537 is in the numerator position. What is x here? The given decimal. 0 0.2562 bar. Therefore, the MIM form for the given decimal is 2537 by 9900. That is 9900. That is nothing but second option. Okay, now we move to the next question. The value of 32 point, here also we have a decimal, that is, let us take it as x. 32.12, here we have a 3 5 is recurring now. Period is 3 5, period is 2. That is nothing but 32.12, 3 5, 3 5 goes on like that. So, what is the first step? Here we have to Already 32 is to the left of decimal, nothing to do with that. 
if you have four digits of the decimal they are to be we have to bring them to the left of decimal so we have to divide both the sides with 10000 10000 that is 32 1 2 3 5 point 3 5 3 5 okay next here we have two digits they are not occurring so we have to bring them to the left of a decimal so what to do now with 100x we have to multiply if you do multiply with 100 100x is going to be 32 1 2 decimal 35 35 so we have taken such a care that after decimal the word is at 35, 35, 35, the recurring decimals, the recurring digits are appearing. Then it is easy for us to solve. If you take minus here, it is going to be 9900x that is equal to here, we have to subtract. Of course, here this entire part becomes cancelled, so it is 0, 0, 0, which is of no use. Here 5 minus 2, 3, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 2, 0, and here 11 minus 3, that is 8, so that is 1. So therefore, x is going to be 318023 upon 99000. This is the MIR form for the given decimal. 318023. 318023 by 9900 is nothing but first option. Okay. So next, the value of same thing here. Let us take x as 15.02 bar. 2 bar means here the period is 2, period is D is 1. So this is otherwise 15.02. 2, 2, 2, it goes on like that. Now, how many digits we have to bring to the left? Here we have one digit, of course, that is not repeated, and 2 is repeating. 2 digits I have to bring to the left. 2 digits means what to do? I have to multiply with 100. 100 x is equal to 15, 0, 2, point, 2, 2, 2, so on. Okay? After that, what to do? There is one digit which is not repeating, so we have to multiply with 10, so that we have 10 x as 150 decimal 2 Okay, so we have to subtract this entire part cancel so it all because it is all becoming 0. So 2 here and it is 10 minus 5 is 5 and it is 4 minus 1 that is 3, 1 that is equal to here it is 90x. Therefore, what is the value of x? 1352 by 90. 1352 by 90. 1352 by 90 is nothing but no option we have seen this is 1351 by 90, 1354 by 90, 676 by 45. It may be further cancelled. See 90 means 45 twos and here it is 6 twos are 12, 7 twos are 14 and 6 times. So this is otherwise 676 by 45. We have this answer that is nothing but third option. Okay. So in this section we have converted given non terminating recurring decimals into p by q or m by n form okay so that is end of this assignment thank you have a good day